breaking news right now. Two homes in Airway Heights are on fire. This video was sent to us by Irina Lappin, taken less than an hour ago. The first calls reported one home was burning around 930. The fire has since spread to a second home and a garage. This is happening on the west end of Airway Heights on Aspen Place. That's just northeast of Fairchild Air Force Base. Thanks for joining us on Nightside. I'm Aaron Luna. We want to get right to our reporter in the, sea, in the field. Our Annie Bishop is there. And Annie, dozens of firefighters working to fight this fire. Any, any indication that it might be spreading? And those firefighters are doing everything they can to get this fire under control. But take a look behind me. It's proving to be exceptionally difficult. This fire was called in nearly an hour and a half ago. And you can see those flames still very much shooting out of the, the tops of both of these homes. The billow of smoke's very clearly visible even in the night sky. In fact, this billow of smoke was so large you could see it while driving along Highway 2, talking with a lot of folks here uh, watching this fire. They said they pulled over because of the smoke and they wanted to see uh, what was going on. Now, this is what we know. The fire started at 940 tonight. It was called in as a brush fire. When the first crews arrived, it was quickly upgraded uh, to, a, 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 to a number two call because the flames had spread to one home and then to another. We know that there are uh, at least six fire chiefs here from various fire districts all coordinating the defensive attack on these two homes that are now, again, engulfed in flames. Now, the assistant fire chief, Tom or Don Malone, with Airway Heights, tells me that no one was injured in this fire, that all the homeowners and the occupants of the homes have been accounted for. So, of course, that is good news tonight. There is not a concern right now of flames spreading to the other homes. They're doing the best they can to keep those embers down and the flames from, again, spreading to nearby homes. As a precaution, though, firefighters have evacuated several homes around the two homes that are currently on fire um, just to make sure that those occupants are safe in case something were to happen. Of course, this is a developing story. Firefighters will be here well through the night into the early morning hours as they try to knock down these flames and get this fire under control. Reporting live in Airway Heights tonight, Andy Bishop, KXLY4 News.